How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be going over to the, the top 5 TV launchers, Android TV launchers, Nvidia Shield launchers that I was able to find for the Nvidia Shield. One thing to note about this video, this is not a tutorial of how to set them up. Um, I am doing minimal setup on this. All I'm going to be doing is just getting into a presentable format for you to look at and then we're going to be moving on. Um, it, I could have went through and set this up, but that would have taken way too long. I would recommend if you see one that you like out of the five I will show you, go ahead and look it up on YouTube. There's tons of tutorials. That's another reason I didn't want to do it. I don't like reinventing the wheel when it's perfectly fine. So there's perfectly good tutorials out there on YouTube. If you see a launcher that you like instead of uh, the default, choose it, do a lot of research, set it up and enjoy it. So um, here's what I was able to find on the launchers. Now, talking about where to get these at, uh, ATV Launcher, HA Launcher, and TV Launcher, I got all of those from the Google Play Store. Square Home, I had to go on Puffin TV and search for it um, via the internet. So you can get that from any browser. You may be able to find it on your particular app store that you're using, but I was able to find it over the web. It was much easier to install over the web than other app stores. My last one on my list is Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher, um, it doesn't have an icon. That's, I like I said, it's minimal setup here. Um, but I was able to find that on Aptoid. It can also be found on any other app store as well. Of course, you can't find it on Google Play, but you can find it on any third party app stores. So beginning this video, we're gonna jump off to the first one in our list. And the first one on our list is ATV Launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and open that now. And as you can see, um, I haven't set any of this up. There's a lot of setup that you can do. For example, you can set up widgets to be displayed up above these applications. You can have weather. You can have all kind of things listed here. You can change the uh, format of these apps, the, the, the sizes, as well as um, how transparent they are. Another thing you can do with this is you can put a background behind it. So you, instead of that black background, what you're looking at now, you can have a very nice, pleasant photo. Um, and moving on, let, let's just go, go down a little bit so you can see how it looks. So you can see all your apps are lined up very nice and neat. And um, you got your time up top, your, your the day of the month and the date. Of course, you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi showing up there. And then you have the uh, ATV launcher icon on the left. Again, this is fully customizable. There's some really good tutorials on this. If you like this launcher uh, by the end of the video, feel free to check it out and get it installed and set it up. Also, if you do set it up, feel free to let me know and uh, let me know how you like it. Moving on to the next one on our list. Number two on our list is HA Launcher. I'm going to go ahead and open that now. HA Launcher is fully customizable as well. Um, you have uh, categories on the left. You can set up, you can change the recent, you can change all of these titles and you can uh, have it set up, for example, games. You can uh, do much more customization as well. You can change the settings. You can come over here, show all apps. I'll show everything in a very nice format and list here. Let's go back, you can go to settings. Now, HA Launcher is one of the apps that you can actually do tons of setup with within the app without having to do any ADB settings, which you will need to know ADB or you will need to be familiar with ADB for some apps. Uh, but for this one, you don't need to know much. Um, I'll just open up a few so you can just see just how customizable this is. You can change your recent apps. You can clear history, set a password. You can come in here and set the app size, tile size, font size. There's just tons of customized customization you can do in here. And um, you got OS settings. This pops up your settings. You can change the way your apps are listed. Here's where you will change the title. You can add new categories such as games, such as uh, live TV. Um, and you can just add your list pretty easy or add your your apps two different lists right now right now it'll show what it's currently assigned to to the right such as for example block block data is set to handheld and this is also set to handheld so you can go in and set that and change it 
You can also change backgrounds as well. Right now it's a, it's a null background, but you can come in here and put any photo that you would like here. Um, beside that, you can create new shortcuts. You can sh change your UI theme. I mean, the options, you can do start daydream, restart, Amazon, network devices. The things you can do with this app are completely limitless. And also guys, just as a note, my uh, son is very close to the room that I'm in. So if you do hear him, or you hear a, uh, a little voice, that is him. Uh, just for your, just so you'll know. You also have a search item or search option up here, which is really nice. Um, go on over to TV Launcher. This is number three on our list. So open up TV Launcher. Now this is one of my favorite. Um, and the reason why I say that is you can completely customize this. You can change the names of these as well as change the background. Right now it is set to a uh, space background. Yes. Where are you taking it? Okay. Oh, I gotta finish this video and then I'll do it. Okay. All right. So, um, you got, as you can see, you got the space background behind that. You can add different apps. You can add different categories. You can assign different apps to different categories. And then over here, if you click that, you can sort it by alphabet. You can filter it and you can change the grid. I mean, the options here are pretty. Jay, where'd you go? Got it? In here, you can change the theme. You can buy uh, the premium. You can change your settings here. Turn navigation bar on and off. Appli application wallpaper. Space animation. That's where I have the space animation turned on. Um, you can lock your home screen. And you can also just donate to support the developers. So this is one of TV Launcher is one of my favorite for the fact that you can do a lot of customization, such as uh, adding a space pattern. I thought that was really cool and really unique of the apps to do. Moving on to number four on our list. All right. Next on our list is Square Home. This is the Square Home Launcher. This one I also like quite a bit. And this one is probably the most promising of them all. Um, I found tons of tutorials on this, so if you uh, if you really want to get one that you can customize, change the ADB settings, this is the one you'll want to do, um, or you want to customize. You can change, you can add widgets, you can change widgets, you can add backgrounds, change backgrounds, you can change these icons to be um, transparent, you can do all kinds of things. And as you can see, I'm going to hit plus one. So here you can you can see that it's very UI friendly. I mean, I click the plus sign and I have options that have shortcuts, launcher actions. I can add widgets. I can do just about anything with this one. So as far as customizability and as far as um, how unique you can make it, I would say this one taste the cake. Um, second on our list after this, as far as uh, ones that, that I like would have to be the uh, TV launcher for that space theme that it gives you. But yeah, I just love this one, how it animates and opens and how you can just come in here and change everything about it. You can edit these. You can do, I mean, I can choose this. I can come over to, come over to the uh, settings. I can change the style of the app. I mean, there's tons of things. So if you're looking into a launcher and you uh, want one that you can fully customize, this would be the one I would choose. Moving on to the last launcher, um, that is Nova Launcher. Now, one thing I noted about, one thing to note about Nova Launcher is um, I don't know if it's actually worth looking into. Um, when you when I googled it, when I looked on YouTube, Nova Launcher was up there. I mean, it was um, a lot of people were promoting it. A lot of people were saying that it's really good. And it may be the version that I installed, but I installed Nova Launcher and this is what I got. I see a gray, gray icon here. When I click it, it says permission denied. I got a Google bar and I click it and it brings up my apps. But I mean, that's, I can't, I'm pressing all the buttons and there's not much that it allows me to do. 
I got play here. It says permission denied. I guess I can change that, but why would I? So yeah, um, Nova Launcher, at least in my opinion, at least the one that I have. Could be a bad version like I mentioned, but I would not promote, nor would I, would I install this one. It's kind of a waste of time. So um, coming back to my top five here, which ones would I recommend you look into? So if if I were trying to get someone to look into this that had uh, time to really research, install, set up the one that uh, they would like, I would say the number one that takes the cake is the is Square Launcher. Um, so uh, if you're looking for a launcher and you're looking for one that you can just research, you can uh, look it up on YouTube, find an excellent video on setting it up. Um, Square Launcher would be the one you'll want to choose. I have uh, I typed a Square Launcher on YouTube and I got tons and tons and tons of tutorials. So um, yeah, Square Launcher takes the cake, guys. I uh, hope this video helped you, pointed you in the right direction. If you're tired of the current UI look of the Android TV, of the Nvidia Shield, then I hope I gave you some options that you may not have known about. And I hope you uh, get something out of this. But that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. So I'm doing uh, daily community updates on my YouTube channel, so if you're not getting those and you're subscribed, or if you want to make sure you're getting those, go ahead and check the bell um, beside the subscribe button, make sure it is ticked, make sure you're receiving notifications. You should by now see my video I put out about the community uh, last Friday. So um. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.